This is the coolest and rarest car I will probably ever own in my entire life. Alrighty, morning after Matsuri. Yeah, we're going to look at me new drift chassis. I'll probably be constantly switching lenses out throughout this video because I filmed a lot with the 50mm at Matsuri yesterday. I usually just film with my 17 to 40 f4. And god damn, it takes good footage. You guys can just deal with the fact that it's gonna be switching from one to the other under fuck you. So I filmed all of yesterday. I did a little edit for Car Make Revive. Uh, I don't know, I haven't really figured out when I'm gonna edit them. You probably will have at least seen the Matsuri vlog. So like, I've been watching all my friends drifting lately, and I'm like, I wanna do that. You know? I'm going to my mate Jacob's place. He has, oh, what the hell? He has a trailer, and we're going to drive two hours south West. I'm really bad with directions, okay? Sue me. To Toowoomba. At Toowoomba is a car that I am thinking, although it has absolutely zero qualities of a drift car currently, I'm thinking that it's the car I want to make in my drift car. So my issue with drift cars is, right? What was I saying? Oh yeah, I'll have friends send me like a really good deal on a drift car simply for the fact that it's like a car that lots of people have or it's a common car which is like a good thing for a drift car I'm just real dumb but I need to be really into the drift car to want to drift it that accompanied with the fact that I don't have like a large disposable income every single week means I'm just a pain in the ass to like look for a drift car for. So people send me good deals of like drift ready R31s, drift ready S15s, uh, S13 sorry, and I'm like mm, nah. A car popped up that I'm pretty interested in. I don't know why I'm hiding what car it is from you guys right now because it's probably gonna be in the thumbnail. Oh, But it's a really unique car so unique that it's really hard to find information and parts on but Brett who you guys know from Car Make Revive his level of work is insane also Matt from Car Make Revive have both said that they'd be really keen to help me make this drift car because it's different it's baller car I'm going to send myself broke break my car and not be able to find parts for it because I want a car that is unique and different and that is really fucking stupid but that is me. It's really awkward to make eye contact with the camera. Really awkward. But anyway, we are going to go look at this drift car. And which is also exciting because it means that I have a car that I can make more content on. And like every time we work on the car, I can film stuff. So I have a lot of work to do on this car to make it drift ready. So I'm going to have a little drift car build series. Peace. See you in a minute. Yeah. All right. Bye. I made Jake a nice coffee because I'm a cute bitch. You know. Alright. What's going on? Oh, oh yeah. Jacob got a skits origin body kit for his drift car. Oh new wheels? I just realized I was not in focus that whole time. This is sick. This is the origin kit. I got the rear behind, yeah. Yeah, we got on. Where is it? Oh yeah. Can't wait till you have a motor and box in it. That looks really good actually, that kit, that kit's super sick. I know, the paint came out good considering like... Nah, that's all getting redone the next weekend. Why is it getting redone already? Because I didn't send this guy Oh, so you're paying him to redo it? Nah, it's for free. Oh, that's sick. See that? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I can see that in the hood too. Yeah, in the hood. So you're just going to get them repainted. I oh, just, yeah. just drop this in it, dog. <laughs> <laughs> just take your dad's motor. Alright. Alright, let's go get us a car. Alright, just here at our old mate Daniel's place, pick him up his trailer, and then we'll be off. It's the range. So we just stopped off at Jacob's mate's house. This is where we're dropping off the trailer. 
and then we're gonna go down and check the car out without the trailer so it doesn't look like we're like definitely going home with the car even though we are just a bit of leverage nice little tip for you if you're buying a car don't take your trailer straight to the place drop it off somewhere nearby and then barter with them and then say I'll go pick up the trailer to get the car it works better this dude has a drift track at his house I got a bit of footage of it like on the way in it's like a big like skid pad at his house and a motocross track this house is sick I don't know what I'm allowed to film here though so I don't want to like disrespect the dude but uh, yeah no nah, this is dope it's a guy that runs midnight runners so yeah this is the like skid pan drift track I want a drift track at my house So we are going down the range, towing this fucking two ton piece of shit. Jacob's sketching out. I texted all of my loved ones. God bless. If, if, <laughs> if we don't make it home and someone finds this camera, you now know why. <laughs> I reckon just no brakes the whole way down there. What do you reckon? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> that was a joke. I'm not being scared. <laughs> just bomb the hill, bro. They've got a huffy slide of it. <laughs> yeah, look, the truck's already lost its brakes. Well, I uh, like bombing the hills. Yeah, yeah, we're going yeah. the speed limit now. Jacob's got a death wish. <laughs> we're literally going 20 k's now before. Yeah. What you gonna do? Act a fool. You get a, a large fuck cops <laughs> to go. <laughs> So we have this SEMA back at my house. It was a mission to get this thing on the trailer, hey. We're just gonna get this off and parked on the side of the road. And I'll do a walkthrough of it tomorrow once it's a little bit lighter, but uh, yeah, you can sort of see it now. Yeah, it's dope. I'm real stoked on it. Just quickly, how sick is this key? It sort of matches the hood ornament. I'm losing daylight. I'm gonna quickly show you the car. I've been really slack at filming it the past few days. But I need to now, so I'm gonna do it quickly before daylight runs out. As you can see, it's pretty much already dark, so I'm gonna have to crank this ISO up. Sorry for the grainy footage in advance. So here is my 1988 Nissan Sima Cedric. You see it's got the uh, the hood ornament, the shell, which is sick. It's on airbags, it's like the stock airbag suspension, which is obviously deflated over time and has been sitting like this for a while so suspension is probably split and gone which helped me get the shelf for cheaper because I'm going to be switching it over to coilovers anyway it's got lots of cobwebs on it and whatnot the rear is absolutely dumped gonna be putting some nice wheels on there obviously these are just the stock ones actually has a nice amount of camber with just like just from being so low as you can see it's stupid low I am definitely getting rid of this sticker as quickly as possible because these stickers are fucking lame not really too much to show you from the outside that's cool. Oh, actually, that's a lie. Those little things at the top there are side mirror wipers. You just beep, beep, wipe that boy up. So it is even darker in here, and it smells like an old Japanese car. There's a bunch of spare parts laying on the ground, and I have no idea what they're for. You can see I've also got a little flare. I only just noticed that. So the steering wheel is probably the coolest part of the whole car because the center stays still and the outside moves around the center, which is the dumbest like small feature, but I think it's sick. It has on it climate control, audio control, this toggly boy. I've got no clue what that says or what that does. If any of you have any idea what these two buttons or three buttons do, please. Let me know. You see the Cedric Seema there. And guess what that is? That's cruise control on a car from 1988. The coolest thing ever. It's got electric mirrors. That's the cruise control on and off. Power seats. It has electric seats. You can move them forwards, backwards. You can tilt them up and down. It's just like... What, what 80s cars came with all these features? It's crazy. Your air suspension controls up here. High, sporty, normal. 
Sporty is the lowest, obviously. Sadly, it is automatic, but it won't be automatic for long. Probably will keep the trim as much as possible and just cut it out and make our own little plate to sit over the top of that. Dude, this is all stuff like, oh, lovely. Uh, old Pepsi cans in there. That is really disgusting. Yeet. Yeet. That's gross. Power windows. So this thing's like got full interior. It's a clock? There's a clock. That's crazy. Oh, I wish I brought my phone so I had a light. And could see all of these options. Like there's just so much cool stuff. Like I will definitely keep you guys updated with new little gadgets I find. 133,000 kilometers. That is less than my stage year. Oh yeah, gonna have to get a 300ZX handbrake and weld it in because the handbrake is actually a foot brake. You pump it down there and then you release it here. Oh, cup holder. That's cool. I just can't wait to dive more into it. I really should have filmed when it was a bit lighter, hey? Big spacious back seats, you know, that drift taxi life. What is that? Yeah, wait, I think that's the tip of the flare. And, as you can see, when I open up both the doors, no B-pillar. It's completely pillarless, the doors are pillarless, and there's no B-pillar, so. I'm in love with this damn car. So stoked. I'm really sorry for the grainy footage. I really should have filmed earlier, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. This is the coolest and rarest car I will probably ever own in my entire life. So cool. It's all right, baby, I still love you. I kind of feel like I'm cheating on the stage here. These need to get thrown out. Okay, so, plans for the car. This is gonna upset so many people. I am not gonna cruise around in it. I'm, I'm gonna drive it. It's a car. Yeah, it's a rare car, but my whole idea coming into buying a drift car was I don't just want an R31. I don't just want something boring, something that I'm not super invested in. And it's not like that's gonna stop me from driving it hard and like learning. I got it for like stupid cheap. And if I can get that VG to run, then my investment in the car is gonna be as much as I would have paid for a drift ready R31. So I'm gonna drift it. I'm not just gonna take it easy on it. I'm not gonna be a bitch and like, I'm gonna run walls, I'm gonna drive it hard, I'm gonna progress, I'm gonna learn in this car. Yeah, I'm gonna have to strip a lot of the weight out, but I love the car, I think it's sick. So the plans for over the next few months is manual swap. Um, I'm gonna have to weld a regular handbrake in because that foot handbrake isn't gonna do it. So my mate has a 300ZX like handbrake. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Also, figure out if it's an R200. Um, it'll be a 4.1 R200 if it's anything. Well, that's what it should be. We're just gonna probably weld it or shim it maybe um, to make it a little bit more reliable because you know, I don't know how well an, a 20, 30 year old LSD is gonna drift. And plus just a shim diff is a lot more reliable. And coilovers, which uh, if I get Y31 coilovers are gonna be pretty expensive. We're looking at options, but are thinking about either CNCing our own top hats and doing Sylvia suspension or Z32 suspension. Otherwise, we could weld and drill new holes in the top mounts to suit any, pretty much any suspension we want. Skyline, um, Z32, Sylvia. So, yeah, that's the plan for the car. Sorry if that pisses you off, uh, but it's my car, not yours, and I don't really care that much. Anyway, uh, definitely hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with this build. Uh, if you want to see me build the car and then drift it. I don't know how long this build's going to take me, but I'm hopefully going to get it running in the next week or two. And then we'll see where it goes from there. Brett and Matt from Car Make Revive have very graciously offered me a hand getting it ready getting it up and running those two are really knowledgeable very skilled in fabrication and engineering so shouldn't have any issues getting it up and running and working how it should yeah so hit subscribe uh like this video so that i can hit a thousand subs catches in a bit peace